What's up, everybody? Everybody's waiting for Jesus to make a move. I don't care if you believe in God or not. Everybody's waiting for this vaccine to be made, waiting for medicine to happen. Unless Jesus himself moves and lets allows something to happen, it's not gonna happen. He holds everything. So what we need to do as a nation and as a world, we just need to all, especially believers, pray. Get on your face before God. Cry out on behalf of your fellow man and people that's sick. Because I tell you what, unless he gives us a medicine, unless he gives a vaccine, unless he puts it in the doctor's minds, unless he gives wisdom, it ain't going to happen. See, that's what's wrong with we live in today. Man is so, man can do so much, but he thinks it's him. We, man thinks that he has all that knowledge, and it's God who gives it. Man can do amazing things, and it's, and it's because of that man is puffed up. But man only knows he ain't doing nothing unless Jesus gives him the wisdom to do that. And what's crazy is, that same mind that God allows him to create all this stuff, they use that same mind to, to deny him. The same God who gives him the wisdom. Gives him a choice, you know? That right, that question right there comes up every day. One of the main, when I, one of the main questions that, that's asked whenever I'm uh, witnessing to somebody is they say, why? Why God allowed that? You know, why did God allow that tree to be in the garden if he knew that Eve was going to go bite off of it? You know? If God didn't allow them to sin, he wouldn't have free will beings, right? If God wouldn't allow someone to make a choice, how would they know that they're choosing him? They have to choose him. If you, if you tell your husband, if you tell your wife or your mom, you love her, they know that that's special because you could choose not to. You could choose not to love them. You know? And another thing, if God doesn't allow pain, God doesn't allow sorrow, how would you know the characteristics of God? You only know God is a gracious God if you need grace. You only know he's a merciful God when you need mercy. You only know he could come through when all else fail, when everything else is down. You need a miracle. You only know that he could do miracles if you, if you need one. It's because it's in this world. That's the only way you're going to see the characteristics of God. And as believers, that's why we know he's faithful. I was talking to my son about that. I said, man, look, one day you will have to stand in front of your kids and say, when all hell's breaking loose in your family, and you're going to have to say, look, I know we're going to be okay. Why? Because I know the God that I serve. And I seen him come through for me and my family. When I was a kid, me and my, my mom and my dad, we prayed like this. And I know God's faithful because God came through for us. No matter what the result is. Satan's ultimate game plan is to have you deny your God. He uses pain. He uses loneliness. He uses a lot of different tools. But the ultimate result is to make you stop trusting in your God. And if a person's already saved, the next best thing is to keep you very ignorant of the Word of God. Make you tired. Make you discouraged. Make you doubt. So you don't even pick up the book. So you don't even listen to audio no more. That's Satan's plan right there. To make you deny who your God is. Because if you're not learning, you, you will not be a witness to no one. You will not be able to benefit nobody if you're not learning the word. If you're not studying, how can you help yourself much less anybody else? Morning. 
That's why the Bible says study to show that self approved. We'll all be tested. But I was just thinking about that. All right, y'all. About to head on to work. Be cool.